Lesson 1. The three approaches to research. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma khrijna min zulumatil waham. Wa krimna binuril fahm. Allahumma hafta alayna abwaba rahmatik. Wanshur alayna khazaina ulumik. Birahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Salamun alaikum and welcome to our lesson one. The three approaches to research. Lesson one of our first chapter, the selection of a research up. As you can see, the course research design uh, has two parts. Namely, we have the preliminary considerations and the designing research. When we say preliminary considerations, it includes chapter one, which is all about the selection of a research approach. Chapter two, review of the literature. Chapter three, the use of theory. Chapter 4, Writing Strategies and Ethical Considerations. And for the second part, Designing Research, we have Chapter 5, The Introduction. Chapter 6, The Purpose Statement. Chapter 7, Research Questions and Hypothesis. Chapter 8, Qualitative Methods. And Chapter 9, qualit uh, I said Chapter 8, Quantitative Methods, Chapter 9, Qualitative Methods, and Chapter 10, Mixed Methods. So for Chapter 1, the selection of research approach, we have number 1, the three approaches to research. Number 2, three components involved in an approach. Research approaches as word views, designs, and methods. Number four, criteria for selecting a research approach, and then summary. So this will be the five lessons for the chapter one, the selection of a research approach. Approach. So today, we will deal with the first lesson, that is the three approaches to research. So the first one is what we call as qualitative research. And number two quantitative research and number three research methods research when we talk about the three approaches to research let us not consider them as something that is rigid distinct they are categorized distinct categories or they are just polar opposites or dichotomies. Instead, we have to consider them as elements that can be found in a spectrum or continuum. In other words, a study tends to be more qualitative than quantitative or vice versa while the mixed methods research resides in the middle of this continuum. So, for example, on, on one part of a continuum or a certain section, we can see a research which is more qualitative, while another one is more quantitative and between the two or a mixture of elements of both approaches we can see we can have what we call as mixed methods research so what do you mean by qualitative when we say qualitative research we are referring to an approach for exploring and understanding the meaning of individuals or groups ascribed to a social or human phenomenon. So among other things that we can detect from a qualitative research is the 
inductive style that it has a particular focus on individual meaning and the importance of reporting the complexity of a situation how about quantitative when we say quantitative research we are referring to an approach for te testing objective theories by examining the relationship among variables so among the the particulars that we could among the characteristics that we could notice are assumptions about testing theories deductively so take note of the the term the word deductive building in protections against bias controlling for alternative or counter uh, factual explanations and being able to generalize and replicate the findings here an experiment in a laboratory for example is a kind of quantitative research How about mixed methods? When we say mixed methods, we are referring to a research or an approach to inquiry, which involves collecting both quantitative and qualitative data and integrating the two forms of data and using distinct designs that may involve philosophical assumptions and theoretical frameworks. So among the core assumptions is the integration of qualitative and quantitative data fields yields additional insight beyond the information provided by earlier by either the quantitative or qualitative data alone. So a researcher would choose mixed methods when he or she feels that the combination of the two could get more data and it could explain better the result of the data that he or she was able to gather it means to say more pieces of information could be given to the public as a result of the findings of the research So these three approaches can be distinguished from one another by identifying the three components involved in each approach. So it means to say, aside from those core assumptions that I have mentioned, there are actually three components that are involved in each approach. And these three components will be the topic of the next lesson. So see you in the next lesson, insha'Allah ta'ala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.